Uh, first off, I got to know, what is the excitement level like uh, getting back into the swing of things and bringing boxing back? We haven't had it since February. Um, well, the excitement is through the roof. Um, I can't wait to get back to work. Um, and the fans, they've been begging for it back. Um, so I'm real excited. Uh, all my supporters have been um, on my back about staying on top of me so that I can uh, get right back to work. So the excitement level is through the roof. And then I'm coming off of uh, the last thing I did. Uh, my last fight in training camp was with Tyson Fury. So, yeah, this is a, a huge, huge um, thing. I can't wait to show my skill. I was going to ask you about Tyson. First off, what was that like to be his sparring partner? What did you learn from him? And, and just how big of a moment was that for you? Um, it was huge. It was a huge moment. Um, I was very grateful for the opportunity. Um, coming in, nobody thought because, um, you know, Deontay Wilder is 6'7". Um, I'm only 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 they didn't know how much of use I would be. Um, but I turned out to be the best uh, credited worker in the camp, I should say. I should say we all have played our roles, um, but I was more or less the, the one of the biggest keys to the camp. Um, I was the most dedicated to doing what was going on. But um, it was huge. I just love working with him. Uh, I learned a lot. We, we taught each other some stuff. He's not used to fighting shorter people like me. Um, he taught me some stuff because I'm not used to fighting people as tall as him. Um, we learned some life lessons because, of course, he grew up um, in the UK and he didn't experience stuff like me and I didn't experience stuff like him. So it was it was a great experience. I learned a lot um, just being around him and the coach, Sugar Hill, a uh, cool guy. Uh, and then the UK guys that were that the other sparring partners, they were great. They were they were the best people to room with as especially um, during that camp. It was an awesome time. We learned so much. Now we call you big baby, but you caused some big problems for your opponents. Why do you think that is? Um, speed, agility, um, and I use my brain. Uh, it's a chess match. Hit and I get hit. That's the way to do it. So, you know, it's a, it's, I think my biggest uh, attribute is my speed, um, but everything else plays into it, my agility, my feet work, stuff like that. Um, and that's why I cause problems for a lot of people. They expect a heavyweight to be slower, um, maybe have some power, but not as much skill. Um, but I've always trained as if I was a littler fighter, and I trained with people who were a lot smarter than me. So I picked up some things from them, um, and so I use it. What do you know about Langston's style and what kind of challenge does he pose to you? Um, he's a South, uh, South Park counter puncher. So um, I'm actually good with counter punches because I'm usually the one to make the first move anyway, but I'm also good at counter punching. So um, I don't have any doubts that it's not going to go my way. I, expect everything um and i'm looking forward to figuring out his style even more um i just sparred his most recent fight um sparring partner um fought his most recent fight with uh i sparred him um had some good work with him they were both boss um so i sparred him and he actually beat him his last fight so like i said i don't i don't have any doubts that i, I can't win um that i know i'm gonna win uh it's just how i do it and how fast i do it when it comes to that stage mgm grand on espn it's the first boxing event since the coronavirus what is that atmosphere going to be like for you what's going to be going through your head um well since we don't have no uh, any audience uh i don't know I, this is going to be weird i'm kind of used to an audience now maybe not the biggest audience but i'm used to an audience now so um, I'm just going to be happy that everybody's going to be watching. And then it's going to be the first actual air um, fight for me. Um, everything else is on the app is going to be on actual ESPN. So it's going to be different. Um, 
I'm kind of used to the cameras because the cameras are always there, but I'm, it might be in the back of my head that it's actually on TV now. So I'm, I'm really excited uh, to be on this platform now um, and happy Top Rank was able to put me on this card. What have the last month or so been like for you training wise, getting physically and mentally prepared? Um, it's been the same. It's been the same as uh, always. I came back down to Houston um, where I do my training camps at. Uh, I came down here with my uh, teammate Shakur Stevenson um, and my former Olympic uh, head coach or assistant coach, Kay Karoma. We're down here um, training um, and it's just like old times. So. I'm right back into the rhythm, um, and it's it's great, really. Um, I can't complain about anything. What does the next 72 hours look like for you? Is it downtime? Is it training? Is it is it getting your mind? What is it? What is the next 72 hours like for you? The, the next 72 hours is going to be um, relaxing, playing my video games, uh, staying on my toes just and executing a game plan really um i meet with my other coach um he's still in Toledo at the moment but i meet with my other coach in vegas tomorrow so i know me and him are going to go over the game plan just to be make sure we're on the same page um and just you know clearing my mind staying focused uh but yeah it's it's kind of downhill now we didn't did all the hard work now it's just the downhill the rest of the roller coaster okay um, what video games are we playing uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. There you go. Are you playing yeah. Warzone? Yep. Yeah, exactly what I'm playing. That's all I play. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll give you brownie points there. Um, when it comes to just this moment for you and all the hard work throughout the last couple of years to get to this point, what is that fight going to mean to you? Um, it means the world. Um, but it is all of the hard work, it only – how should I put this? It only really pays off for me because I'm making my mom and my dad proud. Um, and not too many people have faith in me, but not just because they were my parents. I know a lot of people whose parents um, unfortunately failed them um, as their support system. They're the biggest support system anybody could ask for, no matter what the situation was. They always backed me in everything I did, um, right or wrong. And this is why I'm at this point. So. Um, they mean the world to me. So whatever, however this affects them is how it affects me. So they're real proud of me. So I'm just proud of myself that I was able to do it and able to do it with their help. What would uh, an arm raise at the end of the night mean to you? And what would uh, another win mean to you? And, and maybe hopefully another KO mean to you? Um, it's going to mean the world because it's just going to be another stepping stone um, to that world championship that we're all uh, waiting on. Um, time will tell, but it's definitely coming, uh, hopefully, in the next year or two. Uh, they've been moving me real fast. Uh, my goal, of course, got to just stick to the game plan and just keep winning. But God willing, um, 10 knockouts uh, through my first 10 fights, and we should be on our way in the next year or two. So God willing, everything will happen, um, and we'll be at a world championship in the next year or two. Does everything coming together – excite you for the future uh, excites me beyond measure for sure um i love that everything that i was told was gonna happen is happening so it's like it's just reading the, i read the book and now it's just i'm watching the movie